Hey, what's up, you guys? Mike here to show off some of the new features for Buto volumetric lighting and fog. First thing I want to highlight is that I've unlocked the volumetric sampling distance. You can bring the volumetric fog sampling all the way up, however far out you want. You can sample your volumetric fog. I've also added an option to disable analytic fog. You can see that applied here. And then when you want to bring out this volumetric fog, you can really ramp that up. The other thing is that I've added new textures. I've grouped them into four different categories, Billow, Perlin, Perlin, Whirly, and Whirly. You see here I'm using Billow noise, um, but I've included a bunch of different noise textures um, in different sizes based on what you need for your project. Some examples. I've also added lacunarity and gain options. These allow you to control how noisy your noise is. And I've also added the self shadowing option. I'll show you that once I bring up the fog density. We'll bring this way up. Also tighten up this fog. You'll see here that I added this noise intensity mapping option. This is changed from the previous noise min max option. Um, basically it more accurately lets you describe where you want your fog to exist. So you can see here we have this fog now. I'm gonna turn this off for now and, and bring up the base height of the fog as well. So we're really in it. Okay. So now you can see when we tweak this lacunarity option, you can really see how that's affecting the fog. These options go away once you bring octaves down to one. We'll just set this down to 0.3 and 3 for now. You can see here I have the fog density set to 50,000, so very, very high. Um, now I'll turn on the wind. Okay, and so this is with self shadowing enabled and then disabled. Self shadowing is a performance option. You can disable it if you need more frames out of this asset. Okay, I'll switch back to the billow noise for now. You can see this option really lets you customize and tweak the amount of fog that you have in your scene. All right, um, the next thing that I wanna show is some of the different color ramp options that are available. I'll turn this wind velocity back to zero. We'll keep the billow noise for now. And bring down the tiling domain to 50. And then we'll step out to right around here. All right, check this out. So we're gonna bring up the color ramp influence. So you can see that the fog that's closer to us is affected more strongly by certain colors, whereas the fog that gets further away is affected by different colors, and that the fog, shadow, and light um, is affected differently as well. You can author your own color ramps. I'll show you a few different color ramps that are available. This one's really cool. give you the ability to have extremely stylized fog in your game and then instantly switch it back to physically based realistic fog. Uh, you can author these yourself or um, you can use one of the built-in pre-provided options that are available. Really cool stuff. Okay. 
Um, I think that's all that I wanted to highlight for now. Um, definitely check it out. Let me know what you think.